Hey there, friends who like to watch other friends play video games. My name is Ronkin, and welcome to a brand new LP. Today, we're going to be kicking off a playthrough of Resident Evil. No, don't play the demo for me. Sorry. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to do a series of a few uh, LPs, you know, on my own schedule, on my own time, just showcasing games that I love. And, you know, I, I thought, well, I don't want to try to keep up with the new hotness or try to do all that stuff. I just want to play games that I really enjoy and share those with you guys, my friends. So here is uh, the first game that I really wanted to try out, which is Resident Evil. This is the HD remaster of the remake. Now, the remake was um, the original Resident Evil came out in 1996 on the PlayStation 1. It was remade in 2002 for the GameCube, and this is, in my opinion, the remake upon which all other remakes should be compared. Uh, this is an absolutely phenomenal game. Um, it improves the original in pretty much any every way it could without invalidating it, without changing the story really too much. It made it a little, a little clearer. You know, it, it still has the cheese. I think everything about Resident Evil you know, that makes it great is still here, but it's also just a deeper game. It's a scarier game. Um, yeah, and I love this game and I've never beaten it. I've never beaten this game. So today we're going to be kicking off a playthrough. We're going to be beating this game together, you guys, and I'm going to be showing off what I think is so great about this game. Hopefully I can translate that well, even though uh, even though I've never beaten it. So um, just a little background for you on this game, why it's so important to me, you know, back in high school, you know, I used to, I remember going to uh, to my good friend Jonathan's house and he had Resident Evil 2, I think at the time was out. And uh, we sat on his couch, me and a couple other friends, and we all just stayed up all night watching him play through it. It was terrifying. It was so fun. I think we all have those sort of couch video game experiences, which in my opinion, when anybody tries to uh, when I or ask me to explain Twitch to them. Um, that's, I think, the experience that we're really trying to recreate is that experience of sitting down and watching your friend who's good at the game or who knows the game or whatever play it so everybody can experience it together. And that's kind of what I want to try to do together starting with this video is just I'm just going to hang out. We're just going to play a game. I'm not great at it. I'm probably going to die. It's not certainly a walkthrough or anything like that. This is just a, a, a game that I want to show you. So, um, uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. This is uh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. So this is the uh, difficulty settings. You can either, you can do hard, normal, or easy mode. I'm probably gonna play on easy, to be totally honest, because um, I've never beaten the game and I'm not really wanting to jump in on a more difficult setting. If uh, if I get in, you know, a couple episodes in or whatever, and it seems too easy, I'll replay on medium or something and get back into it. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm here for the story, for the atmosphere, and to enjoy the game. So let's take a nice long walk and relax and enjoy ourselves. Now, in this game, you can play as either Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. And they actually, uh, this is so cool. They actually have different puzzles. They have different kind of uh, walkthroughs in the game. Chris Redfield, I think, has a little more health. But Jill has more inventory space, um, which is why we're going to be playing as Jill. And you can either play as kind of the original Jill or the BSAA Jill um, for this HD remaster. We're going to be trying this out because I've never played on this one. And it looks like uh, it looks like a cool model. So we're going to be playing this um, on Jill and enjoy the introduction. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Rose. The Bravo team sure was sent fine. in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Uh, 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 uh. 
We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Hmm. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Yeah, why don't we go together? Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Hope you like door animations. <clears throat> A dining room. Alright, we can start playing. And, uh, let's see. There's a couple big changes from the original to this. The first is, uh, the control scheme. So, even in the remake, or the, yeah, the remake that came out in 2002, it still had tank controls. So, uh, you'd have to turn and then press up to move, and this is just your standard uh, relative to camera angle controls. And, uh, yeah. Let's start off with some ink ribbons. Six saves per ink ribbon. Maybe this is going to be too easy. What else do we have? We got 15 bullets. We got uh, a knife. We're not going to save just yet. We do start with a uh, typewriter right here. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Harry's just Let's gonna just hope it's not Chris's. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played this, and. Uh... It still looks really good for a game from 2002. Of course, it's all pre-rendered backgrounds with uh, it's really nice high-res models. And when this came out in 2002 on the GameCube, like, oof. This is like the most photorealistic horror game ever. 
I feel like, at the time, certainly. And we're looking for Chris. Locked from the other side. Used to that. There's gonna be a lot of stuff we won't be able to open for a long time. Elevator we can't access. Spooky stairs. Sword. Can't move and aim. Uh, so you can, you're either aiming or you're moving. It'll take me a little while to get used to the controls, I think. I didn't realize there was going to be zombies in this game. I'm not, I'm not all that interested. Let's get out of here. It's a monster. Let me take care of it. Uh, Barry. It's a close one. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. There are some puzzles in this room that we're kind of ignoring for right now. What? Did he just like politely leave? Okay, well, we'll see him again later, I'm sure. Or maybe not. Now, while this is a remake, uh, it is it does have some additions, and I'll try to do my best to point out what's new uh, as those things come up. But this intro sequence is almost identical Let's to the original. Go. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. The uh, a couple changes, like for example, the typewriter in the first floor is originally here, but now it's in the next room over. Totally normal looking door under the stairs. Some doors over here. And we can actually go upstairs. There's a whole lot of outdoor areas that were additions. Um, which works for me, because that's... Uh, I don't know, the forest is scarier to me than a house. I love the forest, but it spooks me out. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of doors that we can't open yet because we gotta check the hall first. I think we just need to go upstairs and then back down. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Jill is, after all, master Thanks. of unlocking. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. I, 
think Jill is generally considered the easier character to play. She starts with the lock picks, whereas Chris has a whole mini game where he's kind of collecting like these small keys. Let's check some of these doors again. We got a helmet. We will not be opening that for a very long time. Or this. Wonder what's on the other side of that door. That's the hall that we were in. Dining hall. Um. Okay. We don't start with much. We start with a gun, 15 rounds, and a very small, very, very small sword with no stats on it at all. Um, this room is a classic uh, is a classic room from the original. It does serve as uh, a bit of a tutorial. So you see uh, this hall here that you can't quite get at. You can move this out of the way. Actually, let's do this first. You see, there's something shiny in that. Uh, vase there on the statue, or urn the statue's holding. Now we have a map. <laughs> Here's all the stuff we're going to be exploring. So uh, this is the first floor. Um, we've already got a basement level and a second floor that we know we're going to have to explore. Obviously, there is... A lot to be checking out and this map is quite upgraded from the original uh, it does tell us whether or not we've collected everything or not which is really cool and I'm gonna do my best to try to uh, explore as much of the mansion as we can solve as many of the puzzles as we can it has been a long time since I played this while well, some of the beginning areas are gonna be um, it's gonna be stuff I easily remember <laughs> My memory will fade quickly and we'll be stumbling around with no idea where to go in no time. Don't worry. That's the kind of gameplay you're here hoping for. We'll get there. Okay, how do I... Okay, right. Emergency of aid. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you'll not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual, you must press a button to use it. Um, we're going to actually leave it on auto. Um, and then get a little tutorial here of how it works. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna see Jill fall on her ass a lot, unfortunately. She's just not much of an action hero, apparently. So here's how defensive item work. So because I had it equipped, she automatically uses it when he grabs us. It does not kill him. But it's almost as if we knew what was gonna happen and just left this right here. So you'll see, I took uh, I took no damage from that, but now of course my uh, my dagger is gone. With a sword, that's kind of cool. Um, it's just uh, a way for you to deal with um, with some with some monsters as they interact with you. They catch you off guard. Right. So let's just uh, let's just take inventory of these doors here, and we'll move a helmet. How do I do? I have a button to view my map. This. Controls map. Okay. So we got a couple open doors. Looks like all the doors are locked. Let's check. 
couple more of these bad boys. This one is actually open, I believe. Although I don't think there's any reason for us to go out here just yet. Zombies out here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we don't need to be out here yet. We will come back. False alarm. This one's not open either. Oh, it is open. Oh, well, there you go. I remember a puzzle here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. Get off me, dude. Did not realize he was going to be right there. How much damage did that do to us? Not very much. Okay. This is definitely going to be easy. I'm still going to... I'm sure I will still die. The game does auto-aim for you, which is nice. Now, um... I'm not going to kill this guy. I'm just going to kind of drag him around. Oh, we got another defensive item. Nice. Um, we're just going to lead him around the corner here. But he will keep following. Just turn around. I mean, we just got in here, but let's go ahead and start destroying some private property. There we go. That that area below, you can see that's the that's the kitchen that we were at before, or the dining room that we were at before. Side. Locked emblem of a sword. Okay, so we can't go anywhere else. All right, well, we're going to leave our friend in here for now. Bye, friend. <laughs> Resident Evil is first and foremost a puzzle game, and uh, it is... It certainly defined the genre when it came out. I think um, it took a lot of ideas from Alone in the Dark, which um, I think a lot of people consider the kind of the first survival horror type game. It's actually very similar. You're in a mansion, you're solving puzzles. There's really strange combat. Um, go ahead and take the blue gemstone. Then we're going to grab this emblem as well. Now, um, oh, examine an item. I was just going to say from the status screen, select an item and then select examine. This is uh, something new that they added. Sorry, that's going to take me a little while to get used to. You can actually take a look at items. And they um, often have uh, different responses based on where you look at it. So like this one, for example, galled all around the edges due to frequent fitting. We probably have to put it in something. Now we checked a lot of the doors here already. Friend Kenneth. Film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on. Okay. Yep. There's a friend in there. At least one friend. happened in this mansion. I agree. And don't worry, he won't be getting up. Um, we'll just leave these here probably for now. I think we'll be coming and going through this area a few times. Um, we can just remember over here we got some herbs if we need them. Inventory management is definitely a major component to this game. 
um, making sure that you uh, you don't overload your inventory or you know making sure you have the right items with you at any given time. Two more herbs. It's gonna seem like a not a lot now, but when I don't do very well at the game for a long time. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. I'm not going to try to pretend like I don't know what all this stuff is. I'm just here to share with you. Inscription on the shield. Death is the true essence of bliss. Okay. Get a key. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. Sure. This is very elaborate, okay. So we can use the key and reset the trap. It will kill us. It'll, if it touches us, we will die instantly. So we will need to figure out a way to get that key. We didn't, we didn't look at the key um, while we had it in our inventory, but we know it's a mansion key, so that's definitely something we're going to want to pick up. Just this, just a little. Here's some wishy footfalls. Boy, there is not a lot of room. If we wait till it gets close. Oh. Oh. If he gets close, you can shoot him in the head. Now, I don't want to kill too many of these. Um. Guys. It's all a reflection of something. Be over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's. Uh, we don't want to kill too many zombies because of another addition to this over the original game. Ammo. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we don't have a map here. Oh well, this is going to take us back out. That's uh, that upper level there. It's so good. We got a way to get around there, but that's kind of it. I need to remember that this guy is here, and we'll be coming back and taking care of him shortly. But we did get an arrow, so let's go ahead and take a look at that arrow that we picked up. See if there's anything special there. Golden arrow. Arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Okay. Made from Peridot. That's so pretty. And reload. So now that I look at it, I didn't really need to come back all this way. I could have uh, gone through the shortcut I unlocked. That's all right. getting up to greet us at some point as well. Now we've checked all the doors here. All locked. So do next. Uh let's take a look at this. Two have run each other through. Your destiny will. Picture of two knights striking each other. A short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight. 
longsword has pierced the head of the other. Okay. Uh, we're not going to save just yet. Let's see if I regret that. Check all the all the doors up here. We did. Now we. This is pretty much it. Side, but there's something in there. Rumbling in tombstone, there's no name or inscription. What is this? Shotgun shells. Um, I'm a little low on space at the moment. We'll pick those up in just a minute. A tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. Indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Hmm. What do? Solved our first puzzle. We did it, you guys, all together. Stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. Statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. A stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. A stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Okay. Hear no evil, speak no evil, smell no evil. Wait, no. Smell no evil, speak no evil. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Sure. Okay, so there's like a giant coffin hanging up there. We got a big chain. I think he's moving. Where could it lead? It's just a spooky room. It's had a book of curses. Ooh. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Book of curses. Four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, and a mask that sees no evil. I didn't remember that it said that. A mask that cannot speak, speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. So let's not do that. Take a look at our new key. We turn it over. Ah. We have a sword key. And we've, we've seen one door that has the uh, sword mark. Sword uh, emblem, I believe. I think we've only seen one so far. Couldn't grab those shotgun shells. I could have sworn there was a zombie out here. Already getting shotgun. The controls are a little wonky. <laughs> they are much easier than tank controls. I'm sure we'll get used to them. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a save. We've done we've done a fair bit of stuff. Although I guess we haven't done anything particularly dangerous.
maybe the, the Resident Evil 2 remake. They made it so that doors that you can now open change color. Um, it's the sword key there. I don't think there was another sword key. I'd be mistaken. That was not necessary. That glass break. And if I do take another dagger. Yeah, break. Nice reflections on that. I'm really impressed with the graphics overall. I did have to go into the config to make this uh, 2K. Um, the highest resolution it supported was 1920 by 1200. Um, but it looks great. I think it looks really good. All right. Got all kinds of sh stuff to go look at. Oh. So uh, in Chris's playthrough, he'd have to find a key to be able to open this. But we have to pick. Just slam it open. Maybe we should have picked. Eggs, but I can't. I'm not aiming at them. Oh, hello there. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is insane. It's like three red herbs. Easy might be too easy. There's a lot of healing items. Um, we don't have any room for anything, but we're gonna remember that is basically healing item heaven. I am. I have a feeling that. Um, well, let's see. Let's see how we do. Let's see how. Let's see how we do. The game hasn't really started yet. I haven't really hit anything too difficult yet. Um, but that was a ton of healing items. Look like it's been serviced in a while. Below your standards. Uh, sure. Wouldn't you do this? Wouldn't you stick your hand in there to remove the drug? Step on it. Do something. The uh, door animations were originally um, loading screens. I guess they're still technically loading screens, although I, I, way. It's a view from outside looking in. It's kind of spooky. Um, Uh, I doubt that it needs much loading power now, but um, in the original game, it, they were used for, for loading, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. Come back to these ones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's whoa 
get out of here. Jumping at me. Mr. Right, our first save room. Get rid of some of this stuff. Not need a lot of this. Keep the knife for now. Go ahead and take these handgun bullets. Some more handgun bullets. We can be loaded up. Dual canteen. Note on the ground, yeah. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration or destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You need something to light it with? Be defined by yourself. Alright, so um, one of the things that the remake here added as a mechanic is this kind of body destruction um, and resurrection mechanic. I don't think we need to save. Let's explore this area a little bit. Um, th that was not in the original game, but in this, uh, in the remake here, the zombies, uh, oops, sorry about that, as they mention, um, Dead. Did we knife him? Alright, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Go back this way first. Doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Right. I forgot about that. Um if there's anything. There's something there, but we can come back around. It's okay. You can go through that door a certain number of times before it breaks. I don't remember how many it is. Um and it makes getting around a lot more painful. Oh, I didn't. Oh, Fucked it. We could have accessed this from the other side. in the hall yeah okay so oh we missed a door see like i said the first little bit is going to be pretty smooth but we're already at the point where i'm not 100 percent sure i remember everything about where i'm supposed to go Take the light. Yes, I. Bullets. Chessboard card from wood. The game appears to have ended. Checkmate. 
So you take the dog whistle. Crumpled memo. Today Sir Spencer told me to hide something when find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious, the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to go near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. I gotta come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. Thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. Only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out for both of us. John Holman. Okay, so we need to use the... Um, use the dog whistle. The one-way door. What's in here? It says open journal. Page blank. Botany. It's a well-known fact that there are many plants, there exist many plants that are credited with med medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and disease plants. In this book, we'll sample three herbs that are native of the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of their medical medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and distinct medicinal quality. Green herb recovers physical strength. Blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We found that mixing green and red herbs has results in a magnified effect. We'll outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own. True knowledge is only acquired. Thank you for that inspirational message. Let's check the door at the end of the hall here. So this takes us back around, but it's a one-way door. I'm not 100% sure I understand that design. I guess that to run this bad boy. Let's go ahead and actually stop. I will at some point explain why we're doing what we're doing. We did see the thing, proper disposal of dead bodies. We do want to do that. We want to properly dispose of them. And every one that we kill, we want to dispose of. Should be fine. I don't... I think we need this. I think we can get to where this is used. So if we go in our inventory here, now that we have a lighter and the fuel canteen... Use it burn the bodies, which will actually get rid of them. This will prevent them from coming back to life, which we really want to do. We do not want them coming back. Let's go ahead and refill our canteen. We do have one more... Where did we kill that one? There's the one in the bathroom. So we can get six kills out of each of these containers, and we did see another one of those containers um, in the uh, in the outdoor area where we saw the dog and like a zillion billion herbs. I might offline do a little bit of collection and just like run around collecting a lot of these healing items that we're leaving behind and put them in our box, unless uh, that's something you guys would want to see live let me know um, if you see it all. It's just those, those item boxes, you'll find them throughout the game and they are connected um, to one another. So it's worth, um, it's worth storing your stuff in there. Let fireplace. We'll use the wooden mount use the lighter here. This 
is a, a very strange puzzle, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't think it's super clear. Um, but now, now that it's lit, you can see the, it's like, I guess it's like a metal outline. I put the wooden mount on it, and then it burns into the mouth, the map. But then I, and then I guess I just carry around this ridiculous wooden map sometimes. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. So a, a green herb on its own will heal you a little. A red and green herb mixed together will heal you to full. You can mix two green herbs together to get kind of a semi-powerful heal. You can mix three green herbs together to get a very powerful heal. Later in the game, you can pick up blue herbs, which will keep poison. Which there are a few monsters and poison us. keep the backtracking down as much as possible, but this game, I mean, backtracking is essentially a game mechanic of uh, Resident Evil, so um, there will be some. I can't avoid it. Okay, um, let's go ahead, and I think we are going to go ahead and go... Um, Back out. I'm trying to think of what other sword doors we have. There might be a sword door in this upper hallway here that we haven't checked out yet. On the left side there. But I'm going to go ahead and... Go through this way. Maybe I should save first. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and save because I think it'll be a little while before we get back to a box. Five seconds ago. Wrong. I totally won't be backtracking a lot. I'll do it as little as possible. We got eight saves. We're good for a while. Save like this just to keep it clean. I wonder if that pink is because I'm on easy mode. Let's keep this with us just in case. Alright. Feeling good about this. We're going to go ahead and go through the falling apart doorknob. I think you get three uses. Um, maybe it's only two, even. Um, so we'll try to keep it to a minimum. Well, this is the guy we killed, and I didn't bring this stuff with me. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Spencer family emblem. I have a feeling that guy will that guy will uh come back before. What's that? Oh. The Defiler of the Accursed Coffin. Well, we saw a giant coffin in that super spooky underground room, so that's probably what that's talking about. The dogs do not come back, so we don't have to worry about the dogs doing that whole business. Wait. Next time we come back through save or whatever. 
Next time I, yeah, I need to, yeah, I need to make sure I bring that with me. I think we can do this room already. And this is just a... An interesting room. Dagger. Ribbons. Six more saves, probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is something burnt here. Weird smell. I should have brought my lighter with me. Yeah, I'll take the shotgun. Door one open. Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker, Barry, help! Jill, you in there? Barry, get me out of here. The door's jammed. Stand back. <clears throat> Grab my hand. <clears throat> And the load is at the bottom of the, <laughs> of the door. <laughs> it's awesome. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Totally. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Barry is just... He's just clutch. He just happened, he just was in the right place at the right time. That's all there is to it. And now we have a shotgun. Already. Now this is only something that Jill can do. Um, Chris has to solve uh, a puzzle in order to get access to that shotgun. Um, and it's much later in the game. Well, not, I don't know if it's much later, but it is late. No, I don't. I think I need to be going this way. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead. Right uh, here. right at him. Not the herb. No. Don't want the herb. Thank you. Earth Basher. I think I'm going to carry around the, um... Can I go back? Can I go back now? around thoroughly explore this got the shotgun not thoroughly but um we'll go back through the door and then we'll go around the upper way
We don't need to be carrying around this sh shotgun right now for this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually, we're gonna save. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a video. That'll be the first episode of uh, Let's Play Resident Evil. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me on the couch as we play together as I share this game with you. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I'd love to hear any feedback you might have if you have any ideas or if uh, if it seems like it's gonna be too easy. Um, let me know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on the fence. The game is not an easy game, even if it overloads you with items. Um, but it does seem pretty, pretty simple so far. Um, or pretty easy so far. But yeah, anyway, thanks so much for checking it out. I hope this brought you some joy today. And uh, yeah, we can't hang out um, IRL right now because this was uh, recorded during the 2020 quarantine. But hopefully we can hang out on the couch and play some video games together. We'll see you next time for some more Resident Evil.